Hello all, this is Halloween. And if you love Halloween and costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank. Maybe even using some items you already have at home. Today is my birthday. No, 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 no. Anyway, not important, but today is my birthday and we're going to be doing something fun and lighthearted today. So we will be recreating Madonna's Like a Virgin look from the 1984 MTV Video Music Awards. It's going to be super awesome, low key, laid back, and it's an easy costume to create all by your lonesome. Let's get started. This is our Madonna costume from the Like a Virgin album. Uh, she also performed this at the Music Awards and all of that. It, one of, it was one of her most iconic looks. So I have a lace bustier here, white lace bustier, white lace fingerless elbow length gloves. I bought the boy toy belt buckle and belt to go with it. I have these pantyhose, they are a white fishnet with the garter attached. Now, these aren't great pantyhose, but I'm only gonna be wearing them once. These are my number one rule, my biggest no-no. They're like 100, they're 100% 100 nylon. You'll see there on the package. So they're not gonna be the best quality, but because they have the garter, I think the garter will help them stay up at least. I've got just white pumps and all kinds of jewelry. She was just wearing all a whole bunch of jewelry, lots of bracelets, lots of necklaces. So I've got that. I have these red star earrings. She was wearing star earrings. I think they were silver. I'm gonna just spray paint them silver. And then I bought this awesome material. It is a polka dot tool material. I got that from Joann's and hers were actually hearts, not polka dots, but I think this is close enough. And then I purchased this little, it's like a child's costume, but it had enough tool to work with. So I'm gonna just be cutting the tool off and using it for my skirt. And that's the whole costume. Let's get started. It's makeup time. This is a quick video. We actually got invited to a 80s party and I was like, I'm not going to 80s party unless I'm Madonna. So that's the whole purpose for this costume. I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to do Madonna, it's gonna be the like a virgin <laughs> version of her. There are so many, uh, cause she really was the icon before you had Lady Gaga and Gwen Stefani and people like that, it was Madonna and that was it. So um, there's so many different looks. Uh, back in the day, I even did Don't Cry For Me Argentina uh, from Evita. Um, my dad loved that. <laughs> I did that performance in high school. I did it for, um, we had this thing called Wicks Cafe and Chorus and I did it for that, and I also did it for PAAT, which is the Filip Filipino American Association of Tampa, and I did it for one of their events. So I did that one quite a bit. I've always been a Madonna fan since I was growing up. She's gone a little off the rails these days. We won't talk about that. Uh, like, I just don't know what's going on, you know. She's always been beautiful. I just, I really wish that people wouldn't mess with themselves so much you know what I mean like age is a beautiful thing if you're fortunate enough to live long enough just embrace the age thing you know always eat right drink a lot of water work out 
you know, get plenty of fresh air and sunshine, you know, and, and you'll be fine, you know, you'll age fine, you'll look fine. But so, I don't know what she's been doing, but she's been looking very different lately. Um, very different. And uh, I'm, I'm a big 80s Madonna fan. Let's just put it that way. And I hope she just stops and just embraces it. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe too late. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting older. There's nothing wrong with looking older. You know, there are creams out there now that have come a long way. And if you have a whole bunch of money like that, I'm sure there are creams that gradually kind of slow the aging process. You could get like, uh, you know, it's got caviar in it and stuff, you know? And it, it'll, you know, be plenty. But anyway, that's, that's my thing on that. It is my birthday, so I'm talking about, you know, aging gracefully. I'm 41 today, and I still feel like I'm in my 20s. Probably because I'm not very mature. <laughs> you know? Like, who's in love with Halloween at 41 like I am? It's crazy. I don't know. I still am like a little kid when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm really young at heart. So I'm just putting on a foundation right now. It's the Kat Von D. You can use any foundation you have. This is a normal makeup today. So whatever you have, it works. You know, anything you have, I'll put down in the description what I end up using. And if you, if you wanna mimic that, you can. Or even with, you know, store-bought drugstore stuff. I've been using drugstore stuff my whole life. It has never failed me, so there's no shame in that game. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've had the very best birthday I've had since my mom left. You know, my mom went to heaven, and uh, that was really hard, but um, you know, for the last couple years, I didn't even wanna celebrate my birthday anymore because my mom was really the one that kinda she was always big on birthdays. He made the birthdays really special. My dad, he made Halloween my thing. My dad was always my right hand man when it came to Halloween and helping me make my costumes. I have actually two very creative parents. But for my mom, it was always really, she was always really big on birthdays. She'd get me a cake and we'd go to Longhorn Steakhouse for dinner because my favorite food is steak. Sorry for all of you vegans out there. I gotta have some meat. I eat steak more than any other food. I'm pretty much a steakitarian. So it's my favorite food. So it always has been since I was a kid. I was really excited today because my dad called me and wished me happy birthday this morning. And normally that's kind of weird ends. You know, he's wishing me a happy birthday. That's awesome. I love that. But he actually invited me to dinner. You know, wanted to take me out to dinner. And I was like, I, I was like, oh my God, that's so awesome. It was really the most awesome thing that happened to me today. I had a hair appointment at 10 a.m. and I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> All the way there. Cause, um, that was really special. Can't think of anybody on earth. I'd rather spend my birthday with than my dad. He's awesome. And we don't usually spend my birthday together. So I was really happy about that. Yeah, so I have all my um, foundation on. I'm gonna put powder on. It's just some cover girl. I like powder, some people don't. This is totally optional. My mom didn't like powder. She said she didn't wanna look like Mount Rushmore, so I like looking like Mount Rushmore. I don't wanna look all greasy and shiny and slickery. <laughs> I kinda like the whole matte finish thing, but it wasn't for her. So, Madonna had the Brooke Shields eyebrows before Brooke Shields had the Brooke Shields eyebrows. So we're going to, and I have more of an arch than Madonna. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work that. I'm gonna have to work that some sort of way because, and her eyebrows were really dark also. I'm using black here. Hopefully 
it's not too dark, but I got to do the whole unibrow thing. Not like all the way in the middle, but you know what I mean? Oh, not like that either. We don't want curb feelers. We, we just want regular, natural Italian eyebrows. I do believe that Madonna is actually Italian. If I'm not mistaken, she is Italian. So she's got the eyebrows. She's like New York Italian. So I'm just trying to get a really fine line so that it actually looks like hair. And her daughter, Lourdes, actually ended up getting her, her same exact eyebrows. So that's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna draw them to a certain point and then I'm probably gonna, so I had to step off camera for a minute. My son and his boyfriend are here and they're never on time. And here it is an hour and a half early. I'm like shocked, believe me, I am shocked. So that's cool. Her eyebrows are kind of more straight across. So I'm just gonna do the little things here in the big, in the top. I hope this ends up looking all right. When I was younger, I used to want to be Madonna. Like who, what little girl in the 80s didn't want to be Madonna? Like I was definitely one of those girls. And funny story, my mom's always been very fancy. She had lace pantyhose and I got into her closet and I made fingerless gloves <laughs> out of her lace pantyhose. <laughs> I'm, I don't remember if she wanted to kill me or if she thought it was hilarious, but it was a funny story later, either way. My hands do shake, so it's really hard kind of to do stuff like this sometimes. They've always shaken since I was little. I, I don't really know the reason for it, but I mean, it almost looks like an eyebrow. That's what we want. Fine, very fine lines. I would recommend for this uh, for this effect using a precision pen in a dark color, dark brown or black. That way you can really get it down. And, you know, it'll take a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it. Get your Madonna eyebrow on. <laughs> that's that's it. I mean, that's the Madonna brow. Before I started doing this video is practicing singing like a virgin <laughs> on my home karaoke machine because I'm gonna be going out tonight to Pete's Place which is the best karaoke show in Tampa if you are ever visiting Florida Tampa Florida st. Petersburg Clearwater anything like that best karaoke show in the tri-county area is at Pete's Place on Henderson Boulevard and you're gonna want to go there and it's it's not just the fact that it's an awesome atmosphere but the singers are great I've been singing with the KJ since I was seven years old and they have the most receptive audience so you don't feel like you're singing to yourself if I want to sing to myself I'll sing in the shower you know what I mean like when I go out to sing karaoke I want to sing for an audience and because I've been singing my whole life I may just draw a little bit of brown in there, but you can totally see it's kind of just a straight across brow and it's got the little hairs in the middle, like the unibrow, but not. <laughs> I think Madonna is the one that made, you know, they always give credit to Brooke Shields for the bushy eyebrows, but Madonna really had it going on before Brooke Shields, so just so you know. A little history for you. I'm gonna do the other one in the exact same way. Like a virgin, touch for the very first time. I had to do that so let's see if my eyebrows were working out. Yeah, this is it. This is the Madonna brow. Um, she's always had really dark eyebrows though, no matter what what color her hair is. Um, I think in Avita they were actually lighter, but I'm gonna do a little brown eyeshadow just right here in the crease. Just like a natural, almost like a natural look. Using um, this Ulta palette that I have. I should be quiet because my son's actually here. I stole this from him. He might want it back. So, um, shh. So 
I'm just gonna use a couple of colors. A little bit of a natural color for the eyelid. You can't even see it. It's like my skin tone. <laughs> yes, I embrace my age and I'm happy today. You know, I've had a really great birthday. Starting out with going to the salon and getting my hair done. Tina McIntosh. Okay, Tina McIntosh is, if you're in Tampa or in the Tri-County area, she's in South Tampa on West Kennedy, and her place is called Hairland. Um, she she did my, uh, my highlights today and even styled my hair. So that's why it's been styled from the get-go. That was a nice, happy beginning of my day. And she even played the birthday song by the Beatles as I was leaving, which was totally awesome. <laughs> and I had a glass of wine while I was there. And then on my way home, I was a little hungry because it was almost two o'clock. And, or it was almost one o'clock by the time I headed home. And I stopped by um, Que Pasa, which is a Mexican restaurant near me. And there was a, I always sit at the same place, me, if it's, whether it's me or if it's me and my husband, we always sit in the same spot. So I sat in the same spot. The bartender, Eddie, was there, who we know because we've been there many times. And Tony, Tony's a, a server there. He bartends sometimes as well. So I'm sitting in our same spot we always sit at, which is right next to where everybody comes and picks up their to-go orders. And this guy came and picked up his to-go order. And I had already ordered my Negro Modelo and he paid for it for me because I was telling Eddie it's my birthday. I said, it's, it's mi cumpleaños. And um, Eddie was like, oh, happy birthday. And this guy who doesn't even know me bought me my beer. So that was super awesome. I'm gonna get a brown color here. And then Tony, who was not bartending, he was on the floor, he was serving tables, comes and gives me a shot of tequila for my birthday. So really all day, it's been a great thing. And then tonight, my son's already here. He's on time, which never happens. And we're going to go to Longhorn for dinner with my dad, who was so awesome to extend that offer to me to buy me dinner for my birthday. So I, I can't, I can honestly say it's been wonderful today. I'm very happy and um, I couldn't have asked for a better birthday. So, you know, just like a real natural look. In fact, I think she even wore kind of a natural tone on her lips. I don't think she really did the red, but I'm thinking about doing the red just to make it a little more dramatic. You know, the red lipstick back in the 80s, it wasn't really a big thing. They were doing more of the natural lip tones or pink back then. I know I was there. I mean, unless you were Blondie or something, you know? I think Blondie was rocking the red stuff. And for a while there, it got kind of where people were wearing more, a little bit more natural tones. I'm gonna do a bit of a cat eye too. I don't think that she had that either, but this is um, a costume that's versatilia. Cater it to you. People are gonna know who you are because of what you're wearing. And I don't have the almond shaped eyes that Madonna has. Mine are very round, precious moments sort of eyes. So I'm going to kind of shape them with a cat eye. That's our makeup for Miss Madonna, 1980s style. And I think I'm gonna do a pinky blush from my little palette here. The browns and the contouring weren't really a thing either. Now some, some people were, you know, Cindy Lauper and the more um, bold, I guess you can say, entertainers were you know, into the red lipstick and the more bold colors, but. And with Madonna, she got into the red lipstick and all that later on, but just doing a pinky blush for the 80s. This is perfect, this is a perfect birthday costume because it's like an ode to the 80s. I'm an 80s lady. I was born in 1981. It's old. <laughs> just kidding. You know, the 40s are the new 30s, so. 
And now I'm going to wear red lipstick because that's what I choose to do. You can do other ways if you want to. She wore actually like a more natural lip, I think, for the performance, but I'm gonna be going to Pete's place tonight and performing, so I want my lips to show up. <laughs> I don't have a lot of lip to begin with, so if they show, it will be nice. Of course, she could have been wearing red lipstick and the stage lighting made it look really light, so I don't know. <laughs> now, it's time to get dressed. Oh, shh, no it's not. You gotta put mascara on. But I do that so silly that I usually go off camera to do it, but I will do it for you guys. I'm not gonna wear fake eyelashes. I don't think that was a huge thing back then. I thought about it and I have some, but no, just mascara today. I used to actually, when I was in elementary school, you know, they give you those papers like for Mother's Day and stuff, like or like projects to do, like what do you wanna be when you grow up? And I always would put Madonna. <laughs> I would put Madonna every time. I think I'm actually going to do a little black liner on my, on my waterline. And it was so funny. I was such a 80s pop music fan, even as a little girl in first, second, third grade. We had the little computer class, and that was back when you had the real big computer monitors. <laughs> And my mom worked for a gynecologist's office, uh, Dr. Bruce Shepard here in Tampa. And she had a patient and her patient, I can't remember, what was her name? I can't remember what her name was. She was a teacher of mine. She taught the computer class. My mom saw her name, you know, like on the file. She said, do you teach at uh, Del Mabry Elementary? And she was like, yeah. She was like, um, maybe you know my daughter. And... My mom was like, you may not know her because I know you have a lot of students and stuff, but her name is Callie. She was like, oh yeah, I know Callie. Mm -hmm. She's the one that keeps putting Paula Abdul as the username in class. <laughs> so I never use my, my name to, for the user. I guess you could use whatever you want. And I put Paula Abdul every time. <laughs> And the teacher, you know, I don't know. I was a I was a favorite with the teachers most of the time because I was just different, I guess. So, but anyway, it's been a great, great time today. I'm going to go get dressed and we'll take some photos. All dressed and ready for photos. Let's do this. Thank you for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed today's look. It's a classic 1984 MTV Video Music Awards, Madonna. Like a virgin, and this is it. It's a fun costume. Everybody's gonna know who you are. That does it for today's episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween. <laughs>